Praise God, folks. This is all truth speaking once again. Coming to you once again. Disturbing yet heroic news. And this is about an 11 year old little African American boy, a real brave little hero, who sacrificed his life saving his little seven year old. And the name of this is Sleazy. Hood rat runs over and kills brave, heroic, 11-year-old boy. And while I will show you a picture of this brave little fellow who sacrificed his life, I will not turn your stomachs or make your skin crawl by looking at this 57 year old bat, this this black, this old witch, this this chicken head. So let's get started. Before, just wanting, just giving you a little, a brief synopsis before we get into the meat of the video, shall we say, of this brave, the deeds of this heroic little African American boy. I am so proud, and everybody, we are so proud, and unite, and we are all united, black and whites, all over, that are just proud of the, the deeds of this little fellow and appalled and, and just disgusted at the at the appalling deeds of this this rat this two-legged chicken headed well excuse me I'll start to get excited again I had to repent I was so excited at reading it was um <clears throat> They were on their way to school early one morning. This was last week. And little, his name is Ladarius Wiley. I, I hope I'm pronounced, uh, pronouncing his name correctly. His little short life last week was, was sacrificed in saving his seven-year-old sister, Shavante, to safety as a hit and run driver barreled into the tiny body at a South Carolina bus stop in Chester, South Carolina the other day. I think this was Thursday. I think this happened. And I mean, the children's mother told the Herald, he knew he looked out for it. It, it was, he, he was, he loved his little sister and watched over her because, you know, it, it's, our streets are not safe. And um, this little fifth grader was standing on the corner waiting for the bus stop. It was last Tuesday, I'm sorry, last Tuesday morning. And he, he died from his injuries the next day. This little brave little Ladarius, little heroic, little black African-American, brave little heroic hero. So as this happened, as the story unfolds, Ladarius, He looked up and he seen this car charging right for his sister. And as this clown, this bat, was looking, it seemed as though from other sources that the car was speeding up. And so, police said his 57 year old Michelle Johnson veered into them and then fled without calling for help. This bat. This old witch, this, 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 I'm starting to say it. You should see her, make your skin crawl. This, this jackass sped off. She knew what she was hit, who she had hit, and sped off. She knew that they were standing on the corner, like most kids do, going to, uh, to school, waiting for the school bus. Did she do the things, even, even racists were appalled, they would have stopped, but this clown, let's blame the right man, no, that was an old nigger that did that. See, there's a difference between an African American and a, and a nigger. They are not the same. So like I was saying, 
After the hit and run, she sped off. He was she was struck on the corner of her family's uh, South Carolina home. This this Johnson was arrested Thursday and charged with hit and run, resulting in the death in in uh, the death of a, a a minor, according to the Herald. She was released on twenty five thousand dollars bond and, and has no record. Whoopee! We can't blame the right man for that. The little boy was said to have been a very good student and loved playing football. He had his whole life ahead of him and he wanted to do different things. He wrote in a GoFundMe page, started to help the family. Oh, I'm sorry, loved ones wrote in GoFundMe page. Uh, uh, to They started to help the family pay for the little fellow's funeral. And I, I would like to, I'm thinking about, I don't know how much we're going to give. He fought a great fight, but God had a greater plan for the little fellow. I mean, I mean, this is appalling. He gained his wings and flew away to glory with the Lord, this little, this little angel. Coping with it day by day, so we, his family said, so we, we, we she said, she's, she, all she wanted was this lady to stop. She wasn't going to, you know, be angry. She didn't want to blast her and all this just to stop and help, just to see, realizing it was an accident. That's what she was hoping. But I know different. You understand me? Let me tell you something. A lot of these Negro battle uh, neighbors are extremely dangerous because it's, it doesn't take, you have to, I want everybody to remember one thing. It doesn't take an army of people to ruin a neighborhood. All it takes was, is one person to, just to, to mess up everything. Just like a country, all it takes is one in anything with a negative mind some bat some buffoon some idiot and it was appalling and disgraceful that's cold-blooded murder she delivered she ran them that little boy down and kept on going seven o'clock in the morning chicken-headed skin crawling witch But what I want to say is, we want the family to know that uh, our prayers go out to them. And we wish and pray for the best for for the family. And the mother and the family are really holding up well. And you know, they, they were so proud of their son and their grandson. They were proud of I, I, what, a, what a breath of fresh air the little fellow was. And we say, we in our church say, God bless. God bless you for your deeds. Do follow you. We said this in the book of Revelation. What are your thoughts on this, folks? What are your thoughts on this? I think she was probably all drunk up or high up off something. But the follow up for this, and I have some more very terrible news about the American economy and the credit system of America and the people that are running or shall I say, the people that own America and the economy, which is coming out and it's breaking news all over. It's just something you need to know. But folks, our children are in great danger like never before. We have to keep our children under tight surveillance and watch who you leave your kids be, okay? God bless folks. And again, we pray for, for the family of Ladarius Wiley. God bless folks, until we meet again.